to our Toronto pop-up. Our team from Vancouver just flew in last night. We are hosting our sixth couture pop-up sale of the year in Toronto. So we're excited to bring the greater Toronto area an amazing luxury sale. We're hosting at the Hilton in Markham. It's at 8500 Warden Avenue. Our security's here, our founder Ashley's here, I'm here, and all of our clothes, handbags, footwear, everything just showed up in these huge crates. We have a lot of work to do the next couple days, but let's check out the ballroom. This is the ballroom. We have all sorts of boxes and crates and pallets here and we already have a piece of clothing with an alarm that went off. The team has been busy unpacking and taking new inventory today. We've definitely put a dent in, but tomorrow is the real setup day. We'll see you tomorrow. It's day two. We're still setting up. So yesterday we got everything tagged. Today we are unboxing, putting everything on the hangers, getting the change room set up, etc., etc. Our team has been working super hard. Let's check it out. coming together we have a few more hours until our influencer nights which night before we open to the public we have about 80 influencers and VIPs coming to shop so that starts at 7 o'clock it's only 4 now so we have a few more hours still but it's gonna be a busy night we'll get to sleep a little and then tomorrow morning 10 a.m. we're opening the doors okay Ashley we're opening for influencer night what are our thoughts I am stressed to the max as I always am, but I mean today is a good day. It's the first time we've actually, or I've actually gotten myself together where my hair is done. So that's a good sign. <laughs> awesome. Oh my. I don't have and we're opening the influencer event. I found Nada and she's one of our favorite content creators on Instagram. Uh, did you find a couple cute things today? A few more than a couple things. <laughs> my favorite is this Versace one piece. Oh my, goodness. oh my god, that is so I cute. Can't deal with this. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. We found one of our great customers, Cookie. She's come to the pop ups before. And what did you find today? Today I found this. This is what I'm going to get. It's very cute. Like a light pink Balmain t shirt. Also comes in white. Awesome. Also comes with no sleeves. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming. It's always my pleasure. We have Erin. She's one of our influencers we had today. What did you decide to try on? The Prada boots. They're so They're cute. So cute. I, want to get them. I I don't know. I'm thinking you I might, think have, might to. have to. <laughs> they look so good. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. I found Stefani's one of our influencers we invited today. What did you find? I found this beautiful Dolce bag. I'm obsessed with it. I can't wait to wear it out. Thanks Yay! So much. Thanks for coming. This is Steven. He's one of the influencers we invited tonight. What did you find? Um, the Georgia Monaco. And it and I is? I feel like I need to have you. It's gorgeous on you. You're so tall, it fits you like a glove. The are little, but like... But they're, it's nice and long for you. This is giving me Europe. Oh, this is like, this is the new Europe. See? <laughs> this is what I need. Thanks for coming. Here's Sam, he's one of our invitees tonight. <laughs> what did, baby. Exactly, what did you find? Uh, so today, VIP day, couture pop-ups. I actually found an off-white jacket, zip-up, uh, perfect size, perfect fit, and also a Balmain uh, logo press on the tee. So good for going out, kind of like not too much, not too little, perfect for like all kinds of occasions. So thank you to uh, couture pop-ups. Also, last time I came, uh, I'm a DJ, so I picked up a Palm Angels backpack, and I've been offered 
it's almost twice as much that I paid for it. Oh my god, no Ooh. way. So Incredible. People are looking at it and they're like, oh, even though you've already worn it, like, can we pay you X amount for it? And I said, sorry, can't do it. So you're coming again next time. Coming again next time. Make sure you tell everybody, tell your friends, tell a friend, tell a friend. Make sure you get here, spend some money. Crazy amounts of stuff. Men's, women's, shoes, everything. They got it all. Amazing. Thanks for coming. This is Rav. What did you find tonight? I found this Versace bralette. I've been looking for ages and I'm so surprised that this is the last piece, my size. Awesome. Thank you for coming. Happy Friday. It's the morning of the pop-up. We're opening in about 30 minutes and there's a huge lineup outside already. I talked to the girls who were first in line and they started lining up at 5.30 a.m. There's even more people than our last pop-up in Montreal, so it's wild. It's gonna be a great day. So I'm just gonna show you this line and then pull Ashley for her thoughts. Everyone out here, but it wraps all the way around here. Good morning. Good morning, Lindsay. How are we feeling about opening day in Toronto? Opening day in Toronto, it's always our wildest crowds. Um, I'm not sure how many guests are out there right now, but I'm sure you'll see in the footage. It is a zoo out there. Awesome. Yeah. What are we expecting for today? Um, wild crowds. We're going to probably have record-breaking sales today. It's super busy, so the team is ready to go. We're super excited, and I'll check back in with you later. Our first shoppers of the day are taking advantage of the handbag section. We've got quite a few for checkout. getting even bigger. Look at all the people. It's been an awesome morning. We're selling lots. People are coming in with a mission and just beelining for what they want. What are your names? All right, my name is Bilgo and her name is Nikwa. We're from Mongolia. Excellent, and where did you come from today? I came from Columbus, Ohio, and she came from Vancouver. Amazing, and what did you guys find today? Well, I bought uh, two shoes and a Balen Balenciaga shirt and one Balmy shirt. Excellent, and what did you find today? Uh, she got some Burberry, Balenciaga, and Whitman's. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming all this way. It's two o'clock, and in comparison to Vancouver and Montreal, usually it dies down a little bit more, but Toronto does not quit. <laughs> it is busy. I've only done three pop-ups with couture pop-ups, so I'm curious to see what Ashley's thoughts are later, if Toronto's this busy usually. But for me, this is the wildest I've ever seen it. Ashley, day one thoughts, comments, questions. <laughs> day one thoughts, this was the busiest pop-up I have ever had, no joke. Literally, we had lineups right until the end, which was like 8.15. I actually had to put an announcement out that don't come after 7.45 because you won't get in. Uh, we moved a lot of product today. Um, tons of shoes, but our shoe section this time was amazing. Clothing, we moved a lot of that as well. We still got a decent amount of handbags, but accessories flew. Um, overall, with the amount of people we had in, team did amazing. The crowds were pretty good for the most part. We had a few interesting shoppers, but we always have a few at each event. Other than that, I'm so excited for tomorrow. I think it's still gonna be pretty busy with it being a long weekend um, and the weather getting cold. That always brings shoppers in, so. Good morning, it's Saturday. It's our fourth day in Toronto as a team, but today's day two of the pop-up. 
We're running the pop-up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday because it's the Thanksgiving long weekend here in Toronto. So I'm thinking it's still gonna be busy today. They're opening like now. So let's get down there and see what is going on. All right, so this is our current line. There's definitely a lot of people. Goes down that way. Yesterday people lined all the way down the hall and then back up around so it's less than yesterday, 100%. So these guys will probably only be waiting like an hour to an hour and a half versus three hours. But it's still an amazing turnout. Look at that. Okay, this is the bag for the look. It is really cute, actually. So it's about noon, this is our line. Much smaller than earlier this morning, but there are lots of people inside. Bobby, how has day two been for security out here? Uh, day two is going very smoothly. Uh, we had a big lineup this morning, but as you can see over there, that the lineup has gone down. So if you guys are already going to Ontario or in the greater Toronto area, today is the perfect time for you guys to come to get an easy line and to get in shopping really close for day two it definitely was quieter come the afternoon and the evening but overall it was still a steady day How's day three going? Day three has been going very well. It's a little bit slower today, but that's expected on the third day. The team has been doing amazing, especially our security staff. They've really minimized a lot of the issues we had at our previous Toronto event, so I'm super thankful for that. Product is moving. We actually just got a rush that came in. It's, I think, three o'clock right now, so things are going well. This is Fernando, our number one salesman. How's day three of the pop-up going? Honey, another day, another sale, man. <laughs> Good morning! It's day four of the pop-up. Ashley and I are here before we open to film some videos. On our last day, we are offering 10% off, an additional 10% off clothing. So we're just going to film some content for social media before we open. And I have some TikToks to film. But it's our last day in Toronto. It's the long weekend, so today's Monday. Everyone's off, so we're hoping to see some shoppers. But I'll update you and tell you how it goes. Starting off the day strong, we have some shoppers in. It's our last day in Toronto in 2022. What's your name? Hi, my name is Ragnar. Excellent. How was your shopping experience today? Shopping was great. You can see my hands are full. I wish I had more hands. <laughs> awesome. What did you find? Um, I found Bottega. I really like Bottega. I found some Tom Ford. Awesome. And I found some Dior, Christian Dior, so it was nice. Awesome. Would you come back? Yes, of course. It is the last hour of the pop-up. Today has been steady. It's been really good. We've had a good amount of customers. It's been like a nice, relaxed shopping experience for everyone. And our staff is excited to be done. Fernando is rocking the handbag section. And shoes. And shoes. <laughs> These guys drove all the way from Ottawa and made it our last hour. And they bought some great items. 
We're ready to celebrate. I just went and picked this up. Have a little cheers when we're done. All done. Hey, everybody, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your guys' hard work. I know it was overwhelmingly insane in here on Friday. It was something I couldn't have anticipated for. We made it through, so let's celebrate and cheers to us. Cheers! Woo!